Alright, here is my review of CM9 by Aero Evan. This build was re released Thursday, 7 12, 2009. As you can see, Incredible 2, Android 4.0.4, .4, and Thursday, July 12th. Let's go back. This has many of the features that CM9 has. Let's go under like your launcher settings first just kind of scroll through these you can change the number of home screens you can have up to seven you can choose default screen you can change the grid size so if you want seven by seven I'm just gonna leave it just default you can have persistent search bar resize any widget hide icon labels so if, if if you don't want the, the text underneath like your icons transition effect I have it set as tablet for now because I like how the transition of a tablet goes page indicator fade indicator and show dock divider main thing you can do with this is like it says apps and then widgets if you don't want to join like the widgets with the app drawer just uncheck the first one Transition effect is default ICS, which is the card stack. And then general, which is auto rotate screen. Alright, so let's go back to lock screen. You can change the screen security. Face unlock does work on this ROM. There aren't um there aren't any major bugs. There are like a few few bugs here and there but there's nothing major you can have menu unlock you can delay the lock so in case you like bump the lock button it won't like show the lock screen you can choose the background for your wallpaper I mean the background for the lock screen custom image default or color fill you can change the owner info so if I wanted to say mine now I just hit back. You can have weather, which is pretty cool. I, I like to use the weather. You can have your calendar, and you can choose shortcuts. So I have like music, but you can choose any app that you wanted to. Just go to applications. Say you wanted phone, but okay. And then over here you wanted messaging. Oops. You you would just click that, and also you can have these. So if you wanted messaging, you just click messaging, hit OK, then hit save down here at the bottom. Let's go back, and go back again. Now when I lock it, and I unlock it, you'll see it has the weather up there, which is Middleburg Fair, 20, it's in Celsius. Not sure why it's in Celsius, but... And then it has messaging, Apollo Music Player, phone, and unlock. Alright, let's go to system. This is the status bar. You should probably know what your status bar is. You can choose show clock, AM, PM style. I have it as small. You can choose battery status style. I have the percentage, as you can see signal status style you can have the text instead of just like the bars right there I've, I don't really understand the, uh, like the text so I just use bars and also show the notification count and then the notification drawer which are like these widgets right here Wi-Fi GPS make for that to focus sound flash for your camera so when I tap that it turns on the flashlight then data and auto rotate screen you can have haptic feedback and also there's more than that that you can choose those are just a few let's go back and also font size then this also includes the theme manager as you can see here it's just set on system which is the default I have red eyes and I have dark eyes 
they're both really awesome themes, you should check those out. One thing I would like to include though is that this does have a custom ring ringtone. So I think that's pretty cool. Not sure why this isn't focusing. Alright, let's go back. There you go. Let's take a look at the Cyanogen Mod wallpapers. These are the new ones from built in from Cyanogen Mod 9. I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the other ones. There's also a white version. Alright, so let's go back. I don't think this has any custom live wallpapers. Yeah, this doesn't include any custom live wallpapers, but this does come with the Apollo Music app. I'm, my mom's using this phone, so I don't know what those songs are, but it also comes with DSP Manager. As you can see, you can change settings over headset, speaker, and Bluetooth. I like to increase the volume. It comes with ROM Manager. To install this, just go to, just go to the market, search for Goo Manager, download it. Then go to browse all files, go to devs, go to arrow evan, go to cm9, and right here is the cm9 build. Just download that, then go back, and then the G apps are right there. Just click the download on those. Then when that's done, just go to flash roms. Oops. And I just go to flash ROMs. I'm just gonna say I already have one. Then just click check and then check. And then just order and flash. Make sure you click wipe and then wipe and then click flash. I'm not going to because I already have it installed. But that's the easiest way to install this ROM. I'm going to show you guys the, the boot animation. Wow, well, I kind of figured that'd work. I like to use this on the uh, computer for the easiest way to re re reboot your phone. In case you don't know, I like the commands. So let's take a look at the boot up animation. And kind of like I said, my mom was using this phone. So this is my mom's case, not mine. A really bright HTC logo. And this this has the newest CM9 boot animation too by the way. And it actually comes into focus at like the very end of the boot animation. <laughs> Way to go, Galaxy Nexus! And let's ch check out camera, see what works on the camera. So just regular camera works. It takes pictures just fine. Let's try to record a video. And unfortunately, camera has closed. I didn't actually try the front facing camera though. Oops. Probably shouldn't have, shouldn't have went back in there. Let's 
supposed to try to hit home. Okay, so there's just a few issues with the camera. Let's, let's try to close it and then go back into it. Nope. Alright. Well, that was my review of Signage and Bot 9 by Arrow Evan on the HTC Droid Incredible 2.